cutting dados and rabbits on a table saw using a dado stack. Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Uh, in order to cut dados and rabbits on a workpiece using a table saw uh, with, a, with a dado stack, you need a sacrificial fence. The sacrificial fence is easy to build. You have uh, a piece of three quarter inch plywood as long as your fence is and make that about the same height as the fence. Glue to that uh, a half inch piece of plywood that is somewhat taller. And then with these two holes in your lower one, you can attach uh, some clamps such as this. So now you've got your sacrificial fence. That way you won't destroy your good fence. You uh, put that the proper distance from the dado blade uh, and then that um, allows you to either cut a dado because you can separate the, the fence from the blade and then th that'll uh, put it in the middle of your workpiece or somewhere beyond the edge of your workpiece. Or you can cut a rabbit. I don't know why they call it a rebate in England and Australia and elsewhere. Maybe when they take that piece and they cut it off, they take it back to the store and they get a rebate. Is that how it works? Anyway, uh, so I'm all set up here. I've got my dado stack set up with a series of blades and chippers and uh, little shims so that I'm at 0 0.47. A little bit tight for a half inch plywood, which is 0 0.47, but better a little tight than a little loose. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm going to do a test cut and let me load up my protective gear and here we go. Oh yeah, some of you may not recognize me. Uh, first of all, my left eye is clearing up somewhat, finally. But secondly, it's hard to work in an Australian cooler hat when you're trying to put on face mask and, and all sorts of protective gear. So I've taken off my trademark hat and it is me. I got another little hat that says small workshop guy. How's that? All right, here we go. So a uh, couple things that are important when you're doing that push across there. One, I wouldn't go right on top of the blade with my uh, uh, push stick because uh, thin enough stock can split and you don't want to end up with your push stick going down onto that spinning blade. So I push a couple inches out to the side. Uh, secondly, you want to make sure you keep a uniform pressure on that because it has a tendency to rise. And if you want that dado to have a common depth all the way across, then you got to keep a constant pressure on it. Okay, let's see. Let's see if that fit. If that's a good fit. So, pretty good. Pretty darn good. I actually leave that dado stack just like it is so I can work with half inch plywood. And then of course when I work with three inch, three quarter inch plywood, I need to cut a wider dado anyway. And my table saw will not accommodate a wider dado stack uh, because of the length of the arbor. And so I do what everybody else has to do. I do multiple passes. In other words, you move your fence a little bit and a little bit until you get the wider dado. Now to, to do the uh, rabbit, you simply move the fence over to the edge and you can probably feel it touch there and then back off just ever so slightly. And uh, then when you run that across there instead of a dado, it'll be a rabbit or a rebate if you like. So that's what you need to do to cut dados and rabbits or rebates on a table saw with a dado stack. Small Workshop Guy signing off. Cutting dables, 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 cutting dables, <laughs> dables.
cutting tables and rubbers. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, that'll make the blooper real. I love doing bloopers. <laughs>